Good day to everybody. Well, it's me again. Uh, I just made a video review uh, yesterday and it happens that just today, another shipment has arrived. So, uh, for today, I'll be featuring out um, timepieces that came from the Our Empire. We're not just talking about simple timepieces here. We're talking about luxury timepieces. Okay? So, for today, uh, probably I'll be featuring out two or three micro brands, but the rest of them will all be luxuries. And there's uh, one timepiece that, as what I can say, is a watchmaker brand. Okay? So, uh, let's check out the shipments that I have received. So, this shipment initially arrived four days ago, but I wasn't able to open it because uh, I got hooked up with a lot of things and I've been busy. So, I waited for the next shipment to arrive so that I could feature out the most spicy timepiece for this particular batch. Okay. So, well, let's begin. Uh, where's my magic cutting tool? Alright, here we go. So, for this shipment, we're talking about uh, shipment 25th. Coming from the Our Empire. And if you could simply note, uh, check it over there. Right, let me just, it's a bit heavy. All right, it's, there you go, coming from the Our Empire, all right? So for this shipment, I, this is the shipment that just arrived today. So just to share with everybody how, how expensive this timepiece is, I paid up 24,200 yen just for receiving it so this is the package that arrived for today it got delayed uh, because of customs because uh, well it's a high-end luxury as it's a watchmaker brand okay so it jumped into several shipping companies so this is the declaration details so let's pull out uh, the rest of the documents for taxes because they gave me a really hard time for this shipment if you could check it there it's clearly stated that's 24,200 yen so just for customs fee and taxes, I paid up roughly around 11,000 in Philippine Peso just for this, uh, just to receive this shipment. Alright, so let me just change the position of my keyboard. Okay, so let's check things out. Okay. As what I've mentioned, it jumped from Skynet, then it got endorsed over to UPS, then it got endorsed again to Yamato Delivery. So it went through a lot just for this package. Okay. Because this is a high-end luxury and you could simply notice for this shipment, it seems that even the customs don't want me to open it. Because customs uh, held this item for more than a week. So you could see uh, the wrapping, this is Skynet. Then there's UPS on that. <clears throat> then for this one, uh, it's UPS. So this is the high-end luxury timepiece. 
So we have three time pieces here lined up. And this is the shipment. Um, let me just check here. So the declaration details. So for this shipment, I paid up a total of, let me just cover this part. 1,600 yen. So, it's clearly stated there. It came from the Our Empire. So, this shipment was delivered last uh, 28th of August. Okay. So, let's take out the documents first. All right. Have it. Oh, pretty much that's it. So let's shred. Let's rip it off. Okay. So we have there three watches already. So this one's four. <coughs> then another two. So that's six, five, six. So I'll be featuring out total of six watches. Two of them are micro brands and the rest are all luxury time pieces. Alright. So let's change the music to something a bit more upbeat. Or uh, let's post this one. There you go. So this is the 25th and 26th shipment coming from the Our Empire. So thank you uh, to you guys over there, especially to Tomas and to Anjo for making sure that all of the shipments are, are sent out. So let's start uh, with the micro brands. I always leave the spicy stuff for the last. Okay. So that's one, two, check this, now let's remove everything first from the bubble wrap. I know that everybody will be interested on this set of uh, time pieces and I still have a couple more of luxury time pieces up on its way going here to Japan so probably everybody's wondering why I actually buy a lot of uh, time pieces well it's my collection it's like my price for all of the achievements that I'm able to complete per project so let's see let's rip everything out so, it seems that customs enjoyed checking out my shipments. Okay. So this one's a bit heavy. Alright. So let's begin. For our first time piece, uh, we're talking uh, about, well, I have two uh, freebies here. So. Just to share with everybody, um, in case that uh, you want to uh, get a timepiece for free, all you have to do is watch their live, then make sure that you share, share it to uh, five different groups, and that earns you a ticket to participate on their events. And if you win, you get a free watch. All right. So. This are the two time. Uh, this are two time pieces that I have uh, received coming from them by joining on their events. So we have here a 2K collection Rolex inspired Coca Cola. All right. So I already received a couple of this. So I have the Coca Cola, the Pepsi, um, and a pure black dial, and then a blue one. So I have a lot. Okay. So. Which means that I always watch their live and I always participate on their events. So for the second time, well, just to flex more about this timepiece, just to share with everybody. 
uh, this timepiece has uh, well, it has quality. Um, and if you wish to actually um, wear a timepiece, if you're going to go on on field work or if you're going to be a bit rough, um, in case that uh, you don't well, you don't actually want to wear luxury timepieces and just uh, have it scratched. Well, you could wear this time uh, this type of timepieces. So. So what I mentioned, it's 2K collection or also known as Ick collection. Okay. So it's pretty much popular um, in UAE. So it's a day-to-day -day, uh, timepiece that you could wear without having any worries in case it, it gets scratched. You could basically throw it away. Um, no, no point on having it repaired. And the good thing about this timepiece is, it's, is that it has a rotating bezel. All right, and it's crunchy, so it means that it has quality on it. So that's for the first time piece, the freebie, which is Ick Collection or 2K Collection. Now let's flex out the second uh, free time piece that I got from them. So we have here uh, a display time piece, and uh, well, I I join, I participated in, on the events because uh, I like the strap of the time. So we have. Uh, a display chrono or a display push button here to display chronos but it, the time itself it's working okay the most interesting part on this timepiece is that instead of me purchasing out uh, straps for my other watches I just joined their event and I earned a free strap so we have here um, a synthetic leather strap and just uh, for because it's like this if you're going to wear a stainless strap uh, there are tendencies that it might uh, it might uh, obtain scratches so for my part uh, to avoid um, those time pieces on getting scratch I change the strap to a leather one for day-to-day -day purposes but if I'm going to go on formal uh, meetings or if I have a schedule um, for, like uh, I'm going to meet up with somebody um, or in uh, it's going to be like a business partner or something uh, I, I change the straps to the stainless ones or to the gold ones so this is the timepiece uh, we have here a win sport it looks nice uh, just for a day-to-day -day watch right no worries about scratches because if it gets scratch well you can just throw it away so that this uh, timepiece has a uh, mineral glass on it well mineral glass is also tough uh, but compared to sapphire crystals sapphire crystals are much more tougher because the only way that those time pieces can be scratched is that if it, it, it obtained a very, very, uh, very, very hard impact or you use a diamond tool to, have to scratch it. So that's the two micro brands, the freebies that I got from the Empire. So thank you very much, guys, for letting me join your games and events. So we're done with two. Now let's move now to our third timepiece. For this uh, timepiece, uh, this is uh, known as the Ninong's Choice. Tomas uh, had been featuring this timepiece and a lot of people have already bidded on it because uh, as per Tomas, well, he gives out excellent um, recommendations for timepieces so let's avoid further delay and let me flex it out probably you guys could watch this on his uh, on their page because Tomas already made up a video about it so I'm going to check out what's so interesting about this timepiece so here you have it that's the current timepiece known as the Ninong's Choice 
we have here uh, let me just check all right okay so let me just make sure that everything is set up properly okay let me just offset it how come it's not being offset then? jumping I'm just I'm setting it up first all right here we go so this is the timepiece it's current okay so we have here a date indicator the minute and seconds and then the hour hand with a luminous indices, luminous minute hour hand, and we the most interesting part here is that it has a working chrono. So you can see uh, the three sub dials on its on its dial. The one on the top is the seconds, and then the one at the bottom is our uh, minute. Yep. Oh no. Yep, it's the 30 minute indicator, and then we have a sub dial here for 60. Yeah, let me just check it out. Oh, this is a, a 10 second counter. Then we have here the, the 60 second counter, and then the minute counter. So that's what we have. So let's reset it. All right. So this is the current. So it's stainless steel with a leather strap and a. Let's check for the back case. So we have a snap in back case. It's not a rotating back case cover. So it's a snap in. And we have here, um, well, for its buckle, it seems that it has quality because it's a, it's a thick and it has weight on it. And it has a mineral glass. Okay. With a fine polish finishing. And it says here, probably it's a 30 meter water resistant. So, one good thing about this timepiece is the strap. I have plans on what uh, well I'm, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to take out this strap and put it on my Tag Heuer Carrera so I'll bet it would really really look cool all right so that's my plan for this watch for the Linux choice but Definitely, I'll still uh, be using the, the timepiece. Uh, I still have a couple of straps over here. So, I think it would really look cool if uh, it's on a black uh, leather strap with uh, red stitches on its side. Or probably a silicone strap, a razor silicone strap. That would be much more perfect for this timepiece. So I'll be doing a couple of modifications for this and just to flex it further for its case diameter <clears throat> we have here a timepiece that has well this is a big watch it has 48 millimeter for its case diameter and for its thickness it measures up as 8.5 millimeter okay so it's a big time piece to start with and it has quality on so let's check out how things will work for this watch so let's flex it out a bit all right oh by the way just uh for our time check oh uh, you know uh 
pretty much if you've been watching my video this is the timepiece that I like wearing during business days when I'm on business wear so that's a Rolex Daytona okay so that's what I'm wearing right now okay so let's flex it a bit there you have it well, I'll bet if the strap, uh, if I'll be putting it on the Tag Heuer Carrera, it would be much more spicy. Okay, so that's how it looks on a business attire. Let's check it out. Alright, so it's a big timepiece uh, and it looks excellent on my hands or on my wrist. Okay. So thank you very much, Tomas, for this recommendation. I really appreciate it. All right. Now, let's move on to our spicy timepiece. And by the way, the inclusions for this, it has a, a current uh, operations uh, manual with a guarantee certificate. So it's one year warranty. And it says here, oh, I for I missed out to mention that it's uh, 5 ATM, so it's 50 meter water resistant. So it's good uh, in case that you're going to take a bath, you don't have to worry about uh, taking it off. So that's our third timepiece, the Karen. All right. So we're done with three watches now. Let's go to the next level, and I'll need my gloves for this. Okay. For our next timepiece, um, let's start with which one? or Rosello. Okay. Let's begin with this. Well, it's a bit tight, to be honest. For the box. Alright, here we go. So, just to briefly uh, to start this, uh, just to share with everybody, um, I hope that you guys watched the video where and I featured out the Saruti. That's what I mentioned before. Saruti initially started um, on 1967 and it was actually been uh, funded in Paris by Nino Saruti. But initially, the timepiece was... Uh, endorsed to him or it was actually uh, his family's business wherein um, his grandfather which was uh, Fratelli Ceruti who initially started uh, the business which is in Italy in, 19, uh, in 1881 okay so it goes way back they started with uh, bags coats then watches so that's where the Ceruti 1881 initially started the, the name of the company okay so to avoid further delay let's flex this out so there's the box Ceruti 1881 as what was explained by Tomas uh, the company is uh, undergoing a cost cutting on their timepieces that's the reason why they have a cardboard box but way back before uh, it's on a wooden box so we have here our uh, instruction manual for the Saruti timepieces okay so for its guarantee I'll bet that it's just going to be uh, an in-house warranty for this set of luxury timepieces and flex this further okay. 
So its small price, just to share with everybody, its small price is at 289 euros. It's clearly stated over there. So we have here the Saruti 1881 Pusciano Chronograph. It's the same timepiece that I bidded. I, I bidded two of these timepieces and I gave one to Tomas as a gift. Uh, I think it's three. I gave one to Tomas as a gift and then I gave one as well to Anjo. Uh, the one for Tomas is the silver and then the one for Anjo is the, play, the, the triple black model. Okay. So there, that's the timepiece. So to flex it further, we do what we have is a three sub dial. Let's, all right, here we go. Let's focus it a bit more. Okay, so we have three working sub dial, a luminous hour, minute and seconds indicator a luminous indices with a date indicator at the bottom lower right of the timepiece at uh, in, in between 7 and 8 o'clock okay. and we have a carbon dial right with uh, looks like electro plated for me right for its bezel and then for the case it's a fine finishing stainless steel case and we have here oh it seems that you could take this you could change its bezel so we have uh, let's see a ceramic side support in between the bezel and the case. Plus, for its strap, we have a, a silicon strap, okay. and it's a quartz. So let's check. Let's try the the sub dial. So thirty seconds, sixty, and then. 24. Let's check for our sub dials. Okay. So the one at the bottom is our uh, seconds counter. That's a 60 second counter. And then the one at the left sub-dial is the 30 minute counter and then we have uh, a 24 hour indicator on the right side so if you could check it out the one on the sub-dial is working so let's reset it all right it went back up so we have a quartz here with a water resistant uh, up to 50 millimeter, but it doesn't indicate on its back case. So we have here a screw in back cover. So for its case diameter, I'm betting it's roughly around 50 and it has weight on it. So let's check. And yep. It's a big watch, so it's it perfectly fits for big guys, for the big boys. So that's 50 millimeter for its case diameter and for its thickness, we have a total of 12.5, 12.5 millimeter. Okay, so let's uh, check it out. Oh no, it's actually 100 millimeter. Uh, 100 uh, meters water resistant. 
just mix that one up because this is the Pusciano. So there you have it. We have an engraving there for the Ceruti 1881 on its side case. Okay. So it has elegance. Let's flex it out. Okay, let's try it. There. So it looks elegant for business wear. Matches out gold. And I like it. Okay. So it's a timepiece worth uh, getting. So that's for our fourth timepiece for today, the Ceruti 1881 Pociano. That's the name of the timepiece. Let me just still has its protective cover. Just put it back on its case. Anyway, later I'll be transferring all of it to my watch box or to my watch briefcase so here you have it that's the first uh, luxury tie piece now let's move now to our uh, second luxury time piece and what we have again is a Ceruti 1881 so this watch is what they call the Ceruti 1881 Russello. So it's like a tortoise timepiece. And for this one, uh, for this watch, we have an Arabic numeral for its indices, and we have three sub dials quartz okay with a luminous hour and minute indicator with a date indicator in between 7 and 8 and we have here seems like a push lever to activate its chrono so let's tr let's try it so we have here uh, a sub dial for the 10 second 10 millisecond counter and the one at the at the bottom is our 60 minute counter or 60 second counter and then the one at the upper left portion is our 60 minute indicator so we have a, a fine polished gold bezel right and then uh, let's check for its uh, crown oh it's just a push crown so let's check and it has a leather strap with a silver case for its body stainless steel and by as far as I am actually checking out all of the Ceruti watches that I have purchased, all of them are electroplated with the engraving of Ceruti on its side, showing its elegance as part of an entry level luxury timepiece with an engraving on its crown. And we have an, a genuine leather, it's like a co uh, crocodile leather strap okay uh let me see what else we can we flex here um yeah stainless steel water resistant and what else uh for this time piece checking on its glass it seems that it's uh on a reinforced mineral glass and it's 100 meter water resistant and checking on its case diameter this one's much bigger so I'm betting it's actually around 46 46 uh, millimeter on its case diameter and oh, what else um, the buckle it's solid as well 
there you have it you can see it's the buckle looks like um, it's like titanium but I'm betting it's not it's still stainless steel with an engraving of Cerruti 1881 on it okay so let's check for its case diameter just to be sure so we have your lug to lug uh, well case uh, edge of the case yep so let me just check here Well, I, I must be mistaken because this one is much bigger. If we're going to base it on the lugs, it's around 46. But for its initial bezel, uh, for its bezel, checking on it, it's actually at 50 millimeters. So it's a big timepiece once again. It's heavy. And it looks really elegant. So... Let's check there you have it so it's a nice pair okay so it's a what another watch or another timepiece for the big boys okay so that's the Ceruti 1881 Rosello chronograph okay Well, upon checking on it, comparing it with, with the first one that I have featured, which is the Pociano, as what I can see here, it seems that this uh, timepiece is a precision timepiece, okay? A precision, uh, it's, it has a precision uh, quartz movement because if, as what you notice on the, it has, uh, the other one only has uh, a 30, uh, a 60 second counter but for this it has a 10 millisecond counter okay so this one has a precision when it comes to counting and you could simply notice that there is a sub hand that actually uh, rotates along with its the second hand also move, moves out by the way, uh, just to correct myself, the second uh, hand is actually at the bottom. So the the 60 second, uh, the 10 millisecond counter is the one on the sub dial, and then we have the the 60 second counter moving as its second hand, seconds hand on its dial. And if we're going to reset it, you could check that it moved fast going back for reset. Okay. So this is our one, two, three, four, fifth timepiece for today. That came from the Our Empire. So if you guys are interested on getting uh, Saruti timepieces, I would advise for you to simply drop in a message to their page or to Tomas so that they could uh, probably reserve uh, something or find uh, the, a set of timepiece that would uh, fit your taste for the Ceruti and there's all they also have this uh, very popular Ceruti model which is the Odyssey Master well that one you guys should actually get it because I, I highly recommend that model to everyone okay now uh let's move forward to our one two three four five six timepiece for today and this one is a bit rare okay it's a rare find so we have here a tiso and i'll bet that everybody's wondering that uh well this guy is actually a uh, well, talking a lot of things about timepieces, but pretty much he's, he doesn't actually have an idea that it can be acquired easily. Well, I'll bet that for this one, you'll have a hard time getting it because what we have here is the PRS 516 
Val Jokes 7750 Racer's Watch So comparing it to the or the, to the other five uh PRS 516 timepieces out there this one is a rare find because it's already obsolete okay and it just happens that Tomas was able to find one in UAE and I didn't have any second thoughts on grabbing it because I know that this is perfectly rare. So for its costing, just check on the price. That's 5,990 dirhams. So let's uh, check the timepiece further. Okay. See? Okay. Initially, um, for this uh, timepiece, the Von, uh, the Valjox model for Tissot, it was. Uh, initially been produced around 2009 all right coming from its name all right it's it it's the movement itself which is the Valjox movement 7750 it's a precision movement produced by the Valjox uh, company they are the one who specialized in in making a uh, Precision movements for timepieces for luxury brands. So we have an automatic timepiece here which has a 48 hour power reserve, 25 jewels, and if you're going to check at the back plate of it, you can see it over there that it's automatic. Okay. With a 10 uh, ATM, so it's a hundred meter water resistant. We have here our day indicator. Let's focus it a bit. Day indicator and then the date indicator. So, for our seconds hand, let's rotate it a bit. So, let's... Uh, it, it's also a push. It has a push a lock crown. A push in lock crown. So... For its water resistant, you could uh, you could basically wear this for swimming as well. But I won't recommend uh, having it on a on this leather strap because it's a racer strap. So probably you could change it to a NATO strap so that you don't have to worry about the leather uh, tearing down. So we have a genuine uh, this, uh, leather here with the branding of Tissot. Where's the branding? Uh, it's covered up. So, there's the branding for Tissot. Let's flex it a bit, okay? So, there it is, Tissot. Oh, let's check it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, there we go. It's already moving. All right, so stopwatch reset. Okay, so we have uh, three working sub dials. The one at the left side is our seconds counter. All right, and we have a luminous indices, luminous hour, and minute hands with a racer's pointer for the second for its counter so let's try it okay so there it goes it started so that's the second counter the one at the bottom is uh, a 12 hour counter and then a 30 minute indicator at the top all right, so let's stop, then reset it. Okay. Look, there you have it. So let's stop, then reset. Pam. 
it's on the top again. Alright, so for its bezel, we have here a tacky meter bezel, a sapphire crystal glass, right, and a ceramic bezel, okay, and then for its case, a 316L surgical steel, okay. So this is uh, one of the first line of PRS 516 released out in the market. This is one of the first models that they actually uh, introduced for the PR, uh, PRS uh, 516 models. So it's a vintage one and we have also, as what I mentioned, it's a, letters, a racer's leather strap with a double fold clasp lock so no need for a buckle all you have to do is snap it then wear it okay so what else by the way just to flex it further if you can simply notice in the center it says prx uh, prs 516 val jocks right a signature for its uh for its model and it's it runs uh 25 it has 25 jewels on it okay so this is uh one of the spicy timepieces that i have acquired from the empire and with no regrets uh for this timepiece because it's a timepiece worth keeping so it it would match perfectly when you're driving uh, probably a sports car or something all right or probably a bike so for its case diameter just to check it roughly uh, probably it's around 42 so let's check it out and yep 42 millimeter for its case diameter and for its thickness we have here a 15 millimeter timepiece so that's it for this uh, watch and just by the way for the inclusion uh, let's hope that the warrant yep the warranty is here if you could check it I bidded it uh, last March 3, 2021 so it was just with them for that long it was sleeping over there at the Empire because I had a lot of lineups being sent in so uh, I'm glad that it already it, it already arrived so we have the dust bag on its inclusions so just imagine how long it's been there since March and right now uh, uh, this, it's already September so it's been there for quite a few months right and that's what I mentioned I still have a lot of uh, a few more luxury time pieces with them and some of them are rare finds that's why i like watching them every day you you could never tell if some some uh rare item starts or begins to pop out um it's when tomas goes out and searches for interesting stuff so now let's go to our high-end luxury which is a watchmaker's brand and here it is Mont Blanc all right so that's the timepiece that we have for today and I'll be featuring this right now and it's really heavy to be honest the box itself is it's perfectly heavy okay all right so we have here the box 
a luxury box and we have here our very thick manual okay so for this time piece uh, I initially bid it on this watch we have two logos here so it was on the 20 oh it's on the it's on the 12th of June 2021 so it's just a few months ago so June July August September roughly around three months ago so this is one of the spicy or luxury time pieces that I had with the uh, Empire just sneaking over there so this is the time piece that costed me 24,200 yen just for its custom speed so that is a very expensive amount for a few people in the Philippines because if we're going to convert that that's roughly around 11,000 Philippine peso just for the delivery or for the customs taxes so here's our timepiece it's the Mont Blanc time walker speed date automatic all right so there's two very popular uh, time walkers out there which is the automatic chronograph and this one is the automatic date the reason why I took this is because the the available uh, on their RSS before for the Mont Blanc uh, chronograph was actually on leather strap I think so I I was attracted more on this timepiece even though it's it it looks simple to be honest all right so for the Mont Blanc timepieces uh, for the for the time walker for this specific uh, model it was released around uh, 2017 for its first uh, released model for the speed uh, for the time walker uh, speed date automatic okay and what we have here are large Arabic numer uh, well large Arabic numerals with a super uh, luminova on its hour minute hands okay let's check it out yep and by the way for its indices uh, there's a sub a side indices all right side stick indices it's also in super Lumi luminova okay just to share with everybody so besides the Arabic numerals over there, there are stick indices on that white side. All right. Before its bezel. So that's what we, what we have here. And we have here a dome bezel. It's a little bit, uh, it's not that flat, but it's a bit elevated. Okay. With a sapphire crystal anti-reflective coating by checking on it okay. and what else so we have a rotating bezel okay so by the way just to share with everybody the one thing that fascinated me about this time walker is the rhodium plated luminescent dolphin hands because for the hands itself okay it's it's more like of a pointer embossed with edges on it so that's what's interesting about this and for its bezel alone it's more like of a, a taggy work carrera for its arabic numerals because it's cloth it's it's polished uh stainless steel type of roman numerals with a black dial so the second sand is on red so it's perfectly elegant if you're going to look at it okay so for its case mark material we have here um, 
a satinated stainless steel by checking on it and let's see for its back case let me check here okay. so for its back case we have a smoke sapphire crystal uh, by simply checking on it it's smoked okay it's a smoke glass it's not like a, a perfectly clear but it's a, a bit smoke and um, the movement for this specific timepiece it's a Swiss automatic MB2417 specifically been um, designed for Mont Blanc timepieces so they have their own uh, time movement just like with Tissot and other luxury timepieces right? so that just like Rolex they have the chronometer uh, Certina so for this it it's it runs under Mont Blanc two digit that two digit movement uh, if you're going to search that out you could uh, basically identify that each movement has its own uh, category for its plus and minus per year per seconds so uh, we also um, what more can we flex so it's a 10 bar timepiece it's a 100 meter water resistant timepiece and it doesn't have a screw in lock because it's a racer's watch okay so as what I mentioned it's 25 uh, jewels and we have there that date indicator on its 3 o'clock Arabic numeral okay so it's a fine fill uh, fine finish steel with an effect of like it's a titanium um, and let's check so steel back Swiss made and for its strap we have here a butterfly deployment uh, lock type with an engraving of Mont Blanc on it okay. so I'm looking for the price tag and it seems that it's missing because it seems that probably customs took it out so I can find it here anyway all I can say about this timepiece is that this one is a very expensive timepiece okay. and just to share with everybody for this time walker model uh, it's uh, I think that it's already been uh, the production for this timepiece or for this design is already been discontinued what they're pushing through right now is the automatic chronograph so if you guys see uh, one of these timepieces out there it's also a rare find okay oh there's the price tag just to share with everybody how much it cost it cost 13,000 600 dirhams that's the mall price for this timepiece that's 13,600 dirhams all right so it's a watchmaker brand so let's flex it out let's check on it there you have it perfectly look nice so um before we actually cut this one down for its case diameter is at 41 millimeter right that's a 41 millimeter timepiece and then for its thickness we have here um uh, an 11 millimeter thickness for the Mont Blanc time walker date automatic okay so that's pretty much everything to discuss about this timepiece and I really like it. So thank you Tomas, thank you to the Our Empire family, uh, thank you uh, Anjo for making sure that everything is uh, wrapped up properly on, on bubble wrap. Thank you Anjo for, the, uh, for making sure that my account is uh, all, all in perfect condition. Uh, to my son 30 and to my brother all right to big boss 
Repa Oli, and to the one and only, the Godfather, Ninong Tomas. Okay, and let me not forget Mick Mick. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. And one more thing, the banker. I really appreciate um, the business that you have established out there. And I really appreciate that on how you take care of your team. You treat them like your family. Okay. So, thank you very much to the Our Empire. And thank you for all of you guys out there who's watching. I hope that you uh, like the timepieces that I have featured for today. And by the way, don't forget to please subscribe uh, to this channel. Uh, and... Uh, there's going to be an event once that the channel reaches out 2,000 subscribers. I'll be giving out uh, one luxury timepiece um, for the Our Empire community. Uh, the timepiece is already there with them. Uh, we're just waiting for the channel to hit out 2,000 subscribers. And once that it hits that, uh, we'll be... Uh, I'll be sending in the name, the list of names who are qualified to participate uh, to participate on the event. Okay, so please like, share the Our Empire, Ninong Tomas, Temp Twenty Four, right, and the branding of Tomas, which is uh, the 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 soul, right, for his uh, shoe brands. So please do support them. Uh, they are good excellent and hard-working people in UAE okay so thank you very much guys and I hope everybody's doing a good out there so once again it's me mr. Kobayashi so thank you very much and have a great day okay have a blessed day to everyone peace out Ciao.